The Sahara Desert is often imagined as a vast expanse of endless sand and relentless heat, dominating much of North Africa. While these images are accurate, they only scratch the surface of what this incredible desert holds. There's much more lurking beneath the Sahara's seemingly barren exterior than most people realize. Geographical Overview Spanning an impressive 9 million square kilometers, the Sahara is comparable in size to the United States or half of Russia. It stretches approximately 1,200 miles from north to south and around 3,000 miles from east to west, making it the third largest desert on Earth after Antarctica and the Arctic. The Sahara crosses over 10 countries, including Algeria, Chad, Egypt, Libya, Mali, Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, Western Sahara, Sudan, and Tunisia. Beneath the sands, the Sahara Desert spans about 30% of the African continent. Imagine nearly one-third of an entire continent being occupied by a vast desert. While the Sahara is famous for its towering dunes, some reaching heights of 180 meters, equivalent to a 70-story building, there's more to it than just sand. Surprisingly, sandy areas make up only 20% of the Sahara. The remaining 80% consists of rocky terrain and cliffs. Today, the Sahara is sparsely populated with less than one person per square mile. It's a place where you can travel for miles without encountering any signs of plant or animal life, and water is almost non-existent. It might surprise you, but the Sahara wasn't always a desert. Scientists believe that it was once a lush, fertile paradise. In the past, various water sources supported abundant plant growth and provided suitable living conditions for animals. How did the Sahara come into existence? A desert is characterized by an extreme lack of rainfall. One of the primary factors contributing to low rainfall areas is being on the wrong side of the mountain. Imagine a weather system moving in from the west, colliding with a north-south mountainous region. As the warm, moist air encounters the mountain, it is forced to rise, leading to cloud formation. However, as the air ascends, it cools, causing moisture to be released as precipitation. By the time the air reaches the mountain's peak, it's largely depleted of moisture, resulting in minimal rainfall on the eastern side, known as the rain shadow. The descending air on the eastern side warms up but remains dry, creating hot, arid conditions. Over thousands or millions of years, these conditions contribute to the gradual formation of a desert. The present appearance of the Sahara can also be attributed to changes in the Earth's orbit, leading to inconsistent rainfall patterns. These changes affect the amount of solar energy reaching the Sahara, with higher solar energy resulting in more rainfall and vice versa. The Sahara's climate has historically fluctuated between humid and dry conditions due to these orbit changes. However, Around 8,000 to 4,500 years ago, the transition from humid to dry occurred more rapidly than usual, and the region has remained dry ever since. Some experts believe that human activity played a role in this transformation. As humans migrated across the Sahara, they introduced livestock like goats, leading to overgrazing and reduced moisture in the area. Additionally, Topsoil erosion caused by human activity hindered plant growth, further exacerbating the arid conditions. The use of fire by humans may have also worsened the situation. Climate over millennia, these weather patterns and topographical factors have transformed the Sahara into a land devoid of vegetative cover. Limited water availability and the ever-changing landscape make it challenging for root systems to develop. Deserts, unlike jungles and grasslands, struggle to retain heat efficiently. While extremely hot during the day, deserts quickly lose heat at night, resulting in drastic temperature shifts that barely support plant and animal life. 
As expected, daytime temperatures in the Sahara are scorching, averaging around 30 degrees C, with the highest recorded temperatures reaching a staggering 85 degrees C. Nighttime temperatures drop to a more moderate range of 13, 20 degrees C. Scientists have made a remarkable discovery beneath the sands of the Sahara Desert, evidence of a prehistoric mega lake. Around 250,000 years ago, when the Nile River carved a path through a low channel near Wadi Tushka, it flooded the eastern Sahara, forming a vast lake that spanned more than 42,000 square miles at its peak. Images from a space topographical mission reveal the presence of this large lake, as well as a smaller one covering 18,600 square miles. Geologists uncovered evidence of this ancient lake while analyzing Egyptian radar data. Led by renowned geologist Ted Maxwell, the team reconstructed the profile of the mega lake using images of wind-blown sediments and the bedrock topography observed via radar. However, the lake eventually succumbed to drying up. Despite efforts to maintain its water levels, the lake's resources were depleted faster than they could be replenished. Eventually, the lake dried up entirely and was buried beneath layers of sand. Another fascinating feature uncovered in the Sahara is an oasis discovered by scientists in the southern region. An oasis, a fertile patch of land amidst the desert, offers a refreshing respite from the harsh desert environment. The oasis in Egypt, known as Kisiba Oasis, was identified using topographic data collected by space shuttles. Recently, this oasis has been cultivated for melon farming. Scientists believe that the Nile River once flooded the entire Kizeba Tushka depression in Egypt, creating a vast lake. Fossil fish found in deposits approximately 250 miles west of the Nile and at an elevation of 810 feet above sea level indicate the lake's highest shoreline. Human settlements near Salima and Tafawi in Egypt appear to have developed near the lake's shore, covering an area of about 42,000 square miles. Additionally, archaeological sites near Bir Kiseba, located 93 miles west of the Nile, suggest a second, lower level of the lake at an elevation of 623 feet above sea level, covering an area of approximately 18,600 square miles. These discoveries shed light on the dynamic history of the Sahara and its role as a habitat for ancient civilizations. In addition to uncovering ancient lakes, geologists have calculated the size of a second lake using the elevation of the Tushka Channel, which once carried Nile water into the desert. These newly discovered lakes contribute to the growing body of evidence for numerous early and middle Pleistocene lakes in North Africa, potentially impacting human migration patterns. Recently, scientists made another groundbreaking discovery, evidence of prehistoric aquatic life hidden beneath the Sahara Desert's surface. This ancient sea, once 50 meters deep and covering 3,000 square kilometers of what is now the world's largest sand desert, left behind marine sediment rich in fossils. These fossils provide insights into a thriving ecosystem that existed millions of years ago. Remarkably, one scientist likened northern Mali, now predominantly arid, to modern-day Puerto Rico between 100 and 50 million years ago. Moreover, this study has officially named geological units in the area, putting it on the geological map for the first time. By studying the sea's fluctuations over its 50 million year existence, scientists have gained valuable insights into the dynamic history of the Sahara and its ever-changing landscape. The study also collected data on the KPG boundary, a geophysical marker of one of Earth's five major extinction events, which led to the extinction of non-avian dinosaurs. Scientists spent two decades studying fossils and sediment in present-day Mali to reconstruct an accurate picture of this prehistoric environment. Their research revealed that the body of water was warm, shallow, and inhabited by 5-foot 
long catfish and 40-foot, 12M, long sea snakes, most likely predatory in nature. The sheer size of these creatures is staggering, prompting the question, how did they attain such colossal proportions? The Trans-Saharan Seaway, which connected present-day Algeria to Nigeria, played a crucial role. This seaway isolated the region from larger bodies of water for extended periods, limiting the presence of predators while ensuring a consistent food supply. Such isolation coupled with abundant resources, provided an ideal environment for species to thrive and grow unchecked. This region's intermittent isolation from major seas may have led to the development of aquatic endemism centers, fostering gigantism as observed in terrestrial island species. These findings shed light on the complex interplay between environmental variables and evolutionary adaptations in shaping prehistoric ecosystems. Endemism occurs when a species is confined to a specific geographic area. Fossil evidence from expeditions in the Sahara reveals a diverse array of extinct creatures, including giant fishes, mollusk-crushing fish, tropical invertebrates, long-snouted crocodilians, early mammals and mangrove forests, all of which thrived in ancient seas. Researchers also unearthed fossils of sharks, turtles and a small land mammal believed to be a relative of ancient elephants. These discoveries were made during challenging field expeditions in the Sahara. Additionally, scientists stumbled upon the ruins of a civilization known as the Garments, which flourished in the Sahara between 1 and 500 CE. This ancient people group established a thriving community and utilized advanced irrigation techniques to cultivate crops in the desert. In conclusion, the Sahara Desert continues to expand with experts estimating it to be at least 10% larger than a century ago. Natural processes, along with climate change, contribute to this ongoing transformation of one of the world's most iconic landscapes. With each new discovery made by scientists and archaeologists, the hopeful question arises. Could the Sahara once again become the lush, green paradise it once was? Considering the remarkable achievements of humanity, this transformation is entirely possible. However, it would require significant human effort and natural 